Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a short little tutorial on how I stitch the beak on the cardinals on the drawn thread deck the halls piece. I realize this may seem a little redundant or too easy that you guys already know how to do this, but I thought I would show you anyway because even if I can help one person with this, then my work is done, right? So, here is the pattern for the beak. To me, it reminds me of an eyelet stitch, where each of these stitches all wind up going into the same hole. If you look, this stitch basically goes around one square, one stitch, if you were doing cross stitch the X. Around the side of this square is five holes. Top left, middle, bottom left, middle, bottom right. What you're going to do is you come up in each one of these holes and come down in the same hole over here two stitches over. Okay, so I'm going to put my thread in the back here to anchor it. I am using, and the thread came out of my needle, I am using the Blackbird Classic Color Works thread for the beak. I wanted his beak to match his eye, and that is what I did for the other beak for the other cardinal up top. So, going to try to put the pattern right up above or right to the side so you can see it. There's the pattern. So you can glance at that while I'm stitching it. So first I would start in the top left. Now every stitch for the beak is going to go into the same hole. It is going, you have to count over, if you look here, it is two full stitches. It's at the top right of that second stitch. So I just count over two squares. The stitch is going to go right here, all of the stitches. So here is the very first one. And all you do the center hole of that square into that same hole that the first stitch went in. The bottom left. Again, into that same hole. The middle on the bottom again into the same hole and then the bottom right okay now that is a little light on coverage and I'm going to say that because this is 28 count fabric if you stitch this design on 32 count 36 count it is going to have better coverage. So on 28 count, you could use two strands. What I'm actually going to do right now is I'm going to go back in those middle holes and do the stitch again. So I'm going to go into, see if I can't fill this in a little bit. I'm going to go into that hole again. I probably just should have used two strands, right? See if I can't fill it in. Yeah, that's going to fill it in. I'm going to go over here to this hole on the bottom. Yeah, that helped. That definitely filled it in. And I think that's what I wound up doing up top. Because here's the beak up top. So, let me get you guys back. Let me get you out of the 
so you can see the whole piece so far to give you an idea of what that actually looks like. So then you can see how the beaks wind up looking. I think it looks pretty good, actually. But yeah, so that's the stitch. That's how you do it. And I may go up here to this one and do two more stitches to fill in that beak just a little bit more, like I did with this one. But okay, guys. That's it for today's video. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.